Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Hello, YouTube friends. Join us as we unravel the mysteries surrounding 2018 Tour of Croatia. The 2018 Tour of Croatia was a road sightseeing stage race that took place in Croatia between 17 and 22 April 2018. It was the fourth edition of the Tour of Croatia since its revival in 2015 and was rated as a ski event as part of the 2018 UCI Europe Tour. The race was won by S. Konstantz in Sivsev. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding teams and gain a fresh perspective. Nineteen teams were invited to start the race. These included three UCI World Teams, eleven UCI Professional Continental Teams and five UCI Continental Teams. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on schedule and its role in shaping our understanding. Stage date route distance type winner 117 April Osijek to Koprivnica 227 km hilly stage 218 April Karlovac to Zadar 234.5 km hilly stage 319 April Trogera Creek to Sveti Jury by Kovo 134 km mountain stage 420 April Staridrid to Krik Venica 171 km hilly stage 521 April Rabak to Ukko 156.5 km mountain stage 622 April Samaba to Zogreb 151.5 km flat stage. Stage schedule. Get ready for an exciting exploration as we unravel the mysteries of stage 1. 17 April 2018 Osijek to Koprivnica 227 km. Let's now shift our focus to stage 2 and explore the ways in which it shapes our perspective. 18 April 2018 Karlovac to Zadar, 234.5 km. With the foundation laid, let's embark on a journey into stage 3. 19 April 2018 Trogera Krig to Sviti Jury by Kovo, 134 km. In this segment, we'll be unravelling the complexities of Stage 4 and exploring its multifaceted nature. 20 April 2018 Staregrid to Krikvenica, 171 km. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Stage 5 and gain a fresh perspective. 21 April 2018 Rabak to Ucha, 156.5 km. In this part of the video, we'll be diving deep into stage 6 and unraveling its profound impact. 22 April 2018 Samaba to Zogreb, 151.5 km. As we transition, let's shed light on classification leadership table and its relevance to our ongoing exploration. In the 2018 Tour of Croatia, four different jerseys were awarded. The general classification was calculated by adding each cyclist's finishing times on each stage and allowing time bonuses for the first three finishers at intermediate sprints 3 seconds to first, 2 seconds to second and 1 second to third and at the finish of mass start stages. These were awarded to the first three finishers on all stages. The stage winner won a 10 second bonus with 6 and 4 seconds for the second and third riders respectively. The leader of the classification received a red jersey. It was considered the most important of the 2018 Tour of Croatia, and the winner of the classification was considered the winner of the race. Position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 points for 2015, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2 points for 12, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0 points for 6, 4, 2, 0 points for 3, 2, 1. Points for the Mountains classification. Additionally, there was a points classification which awarded a blue jersey. In the points classification, cyclists received points for finishing in the top 15 in a stage. For winning a stage, a rider earned 25 points, with 20 for second, 16 for third, 14 for fourth, 12 for fifth, 10 for sixth, and a point fewer per place down to one point for 15th place. Points towards the classification could also be accrued awarded on a scale at intermediate sprint points during each stage. These intermediate sprints also offered bonus seconds towards the general classification as noted above. There was also a mountains classification, the leadership of which was marked by a green jersey. 
in the mountain's classification points towards the classification were won by reaching the top of a climb before other cyclists. Each climb was categorized as either or, first, second, or third category, with more points available for the higher categorized climbs. The fourth and final jersey represented the classification for young riders, marked by a white jersey. This was decided the same way as the general classification, but only riders born after 1 January 1996 were eligible to be ranked in the classification. There was also a classification for teams, in which the times of the best three cyclists per team on each stage were added together. The leading team at the end of the race was the team with the lowest total time. Classification leadership by stage. Thanks for being a part of this amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you more exciting content.